Hey everybody, Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. Today, I'm at the bar. That means it's time for a whiskey review. We're going to be checking out an Irish whiskey today, and it is a budget-friendly Irish whiskey. You don't see a lot of those around. But what it is, is this right here. This is Clontarf 1014. I almost have to say it with an Irish accent. It's Clontarf 1014, a fine Irish whiskey indeed. <laughs> My horrible uh, impression there. Anyway, Clontarf 1014 has a nice little story behind it, and I'm going to tell you what that story is. Uh, this is named after a famous battle in Ireland against the Vikings. Clontarf is a region of Ireland, actually, that's just north of Dublin. And back in the year 1014, the Vikings were invading that area, and the High King of Ireland, Brian Baru, I believe it was, uh, was able to repel their attack, and therefore he gets a whiskey named after that famous battle. So now how do I know all that? Because it says it right here, this little caption down there tells you the whole story. Uh, so not a lot of research had to be done on this. This is your classic triple distilled Irish whiskey. Uh, let's see, it says that the Battle of Clontarf 1014, High King Brian Baru sent Viking invaders tumbling back into the sea and gave his life to achieve a remarkable victory for the Irish over the fearsome Vikings. Well, maybe they should have named it Baru 1014 instead of uh, Clontarf. You know, if he gave his life, at least name the whiskey after him and not the area that was invaded. <laughs> but either way, this is a really nice classic blend triple distilled whiskey. Very similar for, uh, to Jameson, but at a lower price point. That's what I like about this. I picked this up for 16 bucks. I've seen them go up to 18 or $19. That's U.S. price, of course. Uh, as opposed to Jameson, which on sale at its cheapest is usually 21 22 bucks, and usually its regular price is about $28 to $30 a bottle. Uh, how does this taste compared to Jameson? Let's find out. I already know because I tasted it, but we're going to do it anyway. Got the glass here. Uh, let's see. Aged in bourbon barrels. Now, that is one thing I think is different from Jameson, and maybe one of the reasons I do like this. I like bourbon as well as Irish whiskey, and I do appreciate whiskey that's aged in bourbon barrels. It just tastes better. It also gives it that deeper amber color that this one has. All right, classic uh, 80 proof whiskey, 40% uh, alcohol by volume. Smells very nice. It smells just like Jameson does. And if you know the difference between Irish whiskey and bourbons, it has a, a it's not as sweet as bourbon, at least the smell isn't. All right, let's get to it. Yep, tastes like whiskey. Not a lot of burn to it. I mean, it's, I would describe it almost identical to Jameson. And I love Jameson, so uh, this is definitely going to be a staple at my bar from now on, especially at the price point. It's got a cool story. It's got a nice bottle. It's got a better price. So that's pretty much it, guys. Go ahead and check out this. If it's in your, in your uh, area, grab yourself a bottle. Grab a bottle of Jameson while you're at it and do a taste comparison. I can't talk now the burn. <laughs> but I really dig this, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to definitely keep this around. So thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. And until next time, I'll see you around the fire.